Hi there, this is Tom from Tom's Interesting Talk. Today we're gonna to talk about the nitrogen cycle and as it pertains to the aquarium. The nitrogen cycle is something we all need to, as aquarium hobbyists, need to be aware of. Uh, it's a very vital component of our fish being happy in this little environment that we create for them. So in turn, we need to be the stewards of these bacteria so that our fish are healthy, our plants are healthy, and this whole cycle works correctly. The, nit the nitrogen cycle starts as such, Sounds starts with ammonia, and then nitrites, and then nitrates, and then nitrates turn back into nitrogen gas. Sounds so let's talk about ammonia a little bit and how it's made, basically. So when we feed our fish, our fish, will take the food that we feed them and metabolize it. Well, when they, when they metabolize the proteins, proteins turn into ammonia. Well, this ammonia is excreted from the fish through their gills Sounds dry. as a byproduct of that process. We often think that it's the urine and the poop that creates the ammonia in our fish tank, but it's really not. It's the metabolizing of proteins that really create the majority of ammonia in your tank. There's a couple different kinds of ammonia too. There's an unionized ammonia and an ionized ammonia. The ionized ammonia isn't as bad for you. It's the unionized ammonia that you really, really have to worry about. And that's the one that's super toxic to our fish and the ones that so. can kill them. So this is why cycling your fish tank properly and making sure that you have enough bacteria to make sure that the ammonia is broke down. Yeah. Ammonia is also made from uneaten fish food. When that fish food breaks down, it creates ammonia. So that's why we always talk about not feeding our fish too much. Sounds um, I always call it um, bioavailable responsibility. So the more food you introduce, to the tank, Sounds right. the more proteins that your fish break down and produce ammonia that way, and the more fish waste is created, which creates a little bit of ammonia. And then the uneaten food that sits at the bottom of your tank is another factor for creating ammonia. Remember you guys, ammonia is the most dangerous, dangerous thing right. in your fish tank. It will kill your fish quick and in a hurry. Trust me on this. You have these bacteria called nitrosinomous bacteria. And these bacteria are from the chemotropic bacteria family. These bacteria will oxidize and break down the ammonia into nitrites. Sounds right. Remember, you have ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates. Let's not forget that. Um, ammonia is broke up into two compounds. Ionized ammonia is NH3, and the unionized ammonia is NH4+. Um, the NH4+, is, of course, the one that we really need to make sure and break down, because that is the most toxic for our fish. You got to remember, man, this is a doggy dog world when it comes to biology. These bacteria are eating ammonia. And then what happens is they poop out or secrete nitrites. It's kind of a crazy business when you really think about it. Um, it's almost like civil war. Bacteria eating bacteria. Sounds correct. And so forth and so on. It's always fascinated me how these biological systems work. Um, and I tell you, it is pretty brutal so to speak, when you really break down and think about what these bacteria do, because they're basically eating each other and through their secretions or through their waste, you're creating your nitrite and then your nitrite is being broke down um, and being eaten. And then we're also, then we're secreting waste again Sounds right. to make nitrate. Let's get back to the nitrites. 
So the nitrites, the bacteria that breaks down nitrites or nitrifying bacteria, these are the bacteria that are, that are gonna eat and consume the nitrites and then excrete or give, give off waste of nitrates. Now, nitrites are not near as poisonous to your fish as the ammonia is. Ammonia is toxic. Nitrites are bad for them, but not as toxic and won't kill as immediately as ammonia will. Nitrites are a bad little booger as well for your fish. Sounds correct. What happens with nitrites will bind with the hemoglobin in the fish's blood. Um, and lock out oxygen from being absorbed. So the fish, in a sense, can suffocate from too many nitrites being in the water. And that's a very bad thing. There could be all the oxygen in the world in there, but if that nitrite is blocking the oxygen out, it can't transfer to the hemoglobin correctly. And the fish, in turn, doesn't get oxygen and suffocates. It's a funky process, unfortunately. So there again, we need to make sure that biological system is working correctly. We need to make sure our nitrobacter breaking nitrites down so that they're creating nitrates through their waste and secretion. Now nitrates are not toxic to your fish whatsoever. I mean, it takes a high parts per million to have anything happen to your fish from nitrates. Um, nitrates are gonna be consumed by your plants and nitrates are gonna be taken out of the system by water changes. Nitrates are also consumed by algae um, and any other organic plant form that need it. That's why it's really good to have a planted fish tank. Because if you don't have a planted fish tank, well, then you mechanically have to pull that out, which means lots of water changes. And then let's talk about, or let's continue talking about the nitrate, pseudodominus bacteria, known as denitrifying bacteria, will break down the nitrate and turn it into nitrogen gas um, and that completes the cycle that nitrogen gas goes into the air meteorological event like lightning and things like that to break it down um, and then that gas sounds dry gets broken back down into our ammonia and then the ammonia gas basically melds with the soil and that's the completion of that whole cycle you guys, I'm not a total professional on this, so not everything I say is going to be perfect, and I apologize about that. So let's recap the whole process, and we'll close this video out strong, talking about the nitrogen cycle. So we feed our fish. Our fish eat the food that we feed them, and they metabolize the protein in that food and it and it makes and it makes ammonia as fish breathe in and out oxygen going over the gills connecting with the hemoglobin basically as the fish exhales it exhales ammonia remember very little ammonia comes from fish waste or fish urine, just a little bit, just a little bit. The most of it, most ammonia is from the metabolizing of the proteins in the food they eat. That ammonia is then broke down by nitrosominous bacteria. That bacteria in turn eats the ammonia, breaks the ammonia down and secretes nitrite waste. Nitrites are then broke down by nitrifying bacteria known as known as nitrobacters. And those nitrobacter bacteria are broken down 
and then turns into nitrates. Nitrates are consumed by Pseudodominus bacteria, which in turn basically farts out nitrogen gas. I know it's kind of funny. That's what happens. And then the nitrates are consumed by our plants and our algae in our tank. And then the rest of the nitrate gas or the nitrogen gas basically goes back up into the air right out the top of the water. It's a very interesting process, you guys. Um, this is why I run a full biological system. This is why I run sponge filters. This is why I have plants rather than plastic plants. Because I'm interested in the science of this process. And I'm interested in creating my own micro environment where I control the nitrogen cycle in this tank. And if you're gonna be a fish enthusiast or fish hobbyist, you too are gonna to have to control this nitrogen cycle. And knowing the ins and, out of, ins and outs of it is half the battle. You guys, I hope this video was quite informing. I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me as I always enjoy spending time with you. Hey, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you. Please like and subscribe. And on the next video, we'll talk about cycling your fish tank and how to cycle your fish tank properly and multiple ways to cycle your fish tank using the nitrogen cycle. Thanks again. Bye.